Julian Timber has finally been announced as an Arsenal player. We've waited a couple of weeks, but finally it has happened. So it's time to take a look at the few positions he can play for Arsenal. Uh, actually, not just few. There's several positions he can play for us. But time to look at um, those positions and also the formations we can use with him in the team. So without wasting any more time, let's get straight into it. So... Obviously, Julian Timber can play several positions. Um, we've seen him playing in a different um, formation for Netherlands, a different formation for Ajax. So where will he um, be featuring for Arsenal most? So let, let's let's put him in the team first, um, Julian Timber. Um, mostly, we expect him to feature on the right side as a right back. Now, I don't think it's as easy as just saying, okay, now Julian Timber comes straight into the team from the first game. I don't think it's as easy as that. I actually think Ben White has been really good for us. Two seasons, two different um, positions, one as a centre-back, one as a right-back. And I don't think we can really blame Ben White a lot out of the all the games he has played. Actually, last season, every... The other player made a mistake apart from Ben White. Like in terms of defense, Ramsdale gave away a, um, a goal, Zinchenko gave away a goal, Gabriel gave away a couple of penalties, Saliba gave away a penalty and a goal. Ben White is the only player who never really made a direct mistake leading to a goal. I know he lost his man against Aston Villa, um, I think for Coutinho's goal or something, I think is the one who scored. But apart from that, he never really actually gave away a ball to us conceding a goal. And it's very, very durable as well. So I don't think it's as easy as just saying, okay, now Ben White is um, out, now that Timber is in. But I would expect to see him mostly on the right side as a right back, um, going to these positions here. He's, he's, he's quite good in terms of attacking. In terms of his numbers, he actually had 399 passes in terms of the final third for a center back that is crazy he was number one in terms of center backs and having passes in the final third out of the top seven leagues like not just the the, the area divisie no he had more um, um passes in the final third than john stones than van dyke than saliba than all the defenders you know from barcelona and real madrid more than all the defenders you know from psg leon Marseille, more than every defender from psv ac milan inter milan top seven leagues he was number one in terms of passes so when he gets to these positions um here over here he'll not be really like scared of picking out a pass or trying to make a pass or try to make a pass back here no no, no. He, he can make those forward passes here and there so i would expect to see him at right back uh, maybe he will be rotating with them um, ben white but from the first game i actually think we're going to go with the same difference that we had last season unless you have an injury or something but timber maybe champions league and all that he might come in um for for Ben White. Obviously, he can also play as a center back. Um, that's one role that you've bought him for to help out um Saliba. Last season, when when Saliba got injured, we were doomed. We could have uh, one thing we could have done last season um after Saliba got injured is we could have gone back to our 2021-22 season center back partnership of Ben White and um Gabriel. But that was not possible because Tommy Yasu was injured as a right um at right back. So if Tommy Yasu was fit. I think we wouldn't have had probably that many problems at centre back. We just have brought Ben White back to centre back to play with Gabriel. But now, since Tomias was injured and um, Tierney injured here and there, Zinchenko injured here and there, we are basically lacking full backs. Maybe the only other thing we would have done is maybe take Pat to right back early on in the season. But I'm not a fan of Pat in that position. If he had like a ball playing um, midfielder who could play as a right back and inverted uh, right back, it could have been easier. But since Tomiyasu is injured, we had to play Rob Holding. Now, this season, if Saliba is not available, suspended, or needs a rest, no problem at all. Timba can come in for him on that side. Um, you can also have um, Ben White playing on that side. And Kivu actually did play here instead of Gab um, with, together with Gabriel, but that was discovered later on in the season when we were pretty desperate when holding and put in a couple of poor performances and that's hard to do it so i would expect to see timber here as well as a center back next to gabriel not instead of gabriel but with um gabriel of course he can also play instead of gabriel if he needs a rest last season gabriel played all 38 games i'm hoping this season he can get a rest or two you know it's always beneficial for defenders to get a rest as well i mean defenders can play every single game but if you're trying to compete with man city Players like Diaz and Stones and all these defenders are okay. They can play five games and then get rested for two. And then they come off early in another one. So they usually get rest. But for players like Gabriel and the likes of Ben White, they always play for us every single game. So it would be good to get um, help for Gabriel, Kivio, Timber, whoever can play there. Um, will be able to um, feature there. Another position where um, Julian Timber can play, obviously, is midfield. 
But this one will be if you really like we don't have players, then players are injured. Hopefully, like next one, you don't really have that many problems in terms of midfield. But I would expect him to feature in the in the back uh, in the in the back four, back five mostly. Now, speaking of the back four, let's add the other players. So if you have these players here. So this is how it, um, it will look for Julian Timber. Um, he will be playing as a right back. Now it's either he goes to um, this forward position here or he cuts in as an inverted um, right back. He can also come to this position here. So uh, I, when I did my video for how we could line up with our new signings, I said I don't know how many times we are going to see um, Timber and Zinchenko in the same lineup because can he really have two um, inverted fullbacks in the same game? Is that not too risky? Like if Zinchenko comes here and then Timber also comes here, you're basically leaving your um, your flanks very, very open. So I'm not sure you're going to see Timber and Zinchenko playing the same kind of role in the same game. Unless it's a game where the other team is just basically packing the bus, then you could have Timber and Zinchenko doing the same thing. But I would expect when... Um, they're on the pitch at the same time. It will be Zinchenko either coming to midfield and Timber asked to stay here, or or Timber coming in and then Zinchenko is asked to stay on the flanks. That is a possibility as well. Now, if Timber comes into midfield, um, we could have Declan Rice here. Obviously, um, this this could happen as well. So let's put in um, let's name the players Saliba. Let's bring in Gabriel as well, and um, also Zinchenko. Zinchenko, and also Ben, Ben White, no, 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 Ben White, um, Declan Rice, that's uh, with me spelled Gabriel, so Gabriel here, so a better idea of how it could look like, so Gabriel can be here, and then Saliba can be here, and then Timber can be here, and then um, Declan Rice as the holding midfielder, so when other players go forward, Harvard's already gets Saka Martinelli, and Zinchenko also comes here, then it turns to a back three, then you have Gabriel, Saliba and also um Timber. So you are basically asking Timber to stay back, which um is no problem at all. I mean, if he needs to, he can also go forward and make the pass. I mean, he's the defender that has the most passes in the final third in top seven European leagues. Uh, that is a um, crazy start. So he can also go there. So let me know who do you prefer to go forward, Zinchenko or Timber? Because Zinchenko is pretty good. We saw last one in terms of going forward. But Timber as well can do the same job and he can also assist and score. But I would expect him to um to the formation to look something like this when Zinchenko is on the pitch at the same time. So Gabriel Saliba Timba is the back three. This position is not new for Timba because he plays here um, for Netherlands as a third centre back. He will be needed to cover here and here, obviously, but he does have the pace. He does have the the ball carrying ability, so nothing to worry about. It's not like if you had someone like a Matasaka there, then you're in big, big trouble. Matasaka cannot play that role at all. But someone like Timba, comfortable and the ball has the pace, has the ball carrying ability. I think it's okay now. The other thing that we could see, since now we're back in the Champions League, we could actually have something like a back five that, that can actually happen as well. Um, just to maybe protect a lead or if you're going away from home and you need to be... I wouldn't expect us to use it too many times. I don't think he's a scared manager. I think he usually believes in his tactics and goes for it. Maybe sometimes he'll need to change it, but you could see something like this. We could um, see a back five with Zinchenko, Gabriel, Saliba, Timba, and... Ben White. So Timba is comfortable in that role, very, very comfortable. He plays there for um, his country, Netherlands, next to Nathan Ake and next to um, Van Dijk as well. So I'd not be surprised to see him there if we play a back five. But also if we play a back five, you can ask him to play here and Ben White to play here. So it's it's different um, ways you can play it. You can also bring in Kivu and take Gabriel to the center of this and then Saliba to the right and then play Timba on the right side. It can um, happen whichever way. So this is a very, very good... Um, um team to have like these defenders anyone can play anywhere like gabriel even if needed can play as a left back kivy if needed can play as a left back saliba can play on the right side on the left side benoit can play as a center back as a right back same with tommy as so it's quite beneficial to have that kind of a team i really hope tn stays as well then all of a sudden you have different ideas uh, or different uh, ways you can play so if you have this formation like this and maybe you need one one center back to push forward then timber can obviously push here and then Rice, and then obviously Saliba and Gabriel become a back too. So there's a lot of different ways you can um, fit in this team. And I'm really excited to see how Timba can be used, man. Like I cannot wait um, to see how he's going to be used. I would expect him to be mainly in these areas here, like these areas here. 
this um, defensive right hand side and also a few midfield um a few times is going to be uh, appear in midfield so really really excited to see how timber does for us um welcome to us the g and timber uh, one of the very very good signings that we've made at arsenal and for only less actually less than 40 million pounds i think that is a very very good price to get timber for i cannot to see how he does welcome to arsenal julian timber <laughs> 